Okay, we just learned how to graph tangent. Now let's look at sister cotangent. Now cotangent is very similar. They're just reciprocals, so everything is the opposite. So tangent was y over x. We know cotangent is x over y. So you can go around the whole unit circle again and do x over y, but I know they're reciprocals, so I'm just gonna do the opposite. Now this got messed up, so. So instead of zero being zero, it's gonna be undefined. Instead of pi over two being undefined, it's gonna be zero. Pi was zero, now it's undefined. Three pi over two was undefined, now it's zero. Two pi was zero, now it's undefined. Okay, so those are all the opposites. Let's fill in our pi over fours. And at pi over four, the reciprocal of one is still one. At three pi over four, the reciprocal of negative one is still negative one. So those stay the same. But now let's graph it. So first I'm gonna put down all my zeros. So pi over two, three pi over two, Oh, that's it. Okay, so now my asymptotes. Zero. Pi. Two pi. So just looking at it the way it is right now, it looks like it's just a phase shift from tangent. But careful, because now we're going to put in our pi over fours. So at pi over four, it's one. At three pi over four, it's negative one. So whenever you shift it over, it also inverted the graph where instead of increasing, now it's decreasing. So the difference between tangent and cotangent, not only is it shifted over, but instead of increasing, it's decreasing. So if you're gonna compare the graphs, say you're given a negative tangent, that would look like a cotangent, just shift it over. A negative cotangent would then look like a tangent, just a different phase shift again. So let's go ahead and repeat this across the whole graph. So the middle, up one, down one, up one, down one, up one, down one, up one, down one. Now these sections where we're doing the pi over fours are acting as our amplitude. So in sine and cosine, that's where the mins and the maxes were. But for tangent, it helps us stretch the graph. So tangent and cotangent, these sections those middle points are the amplitude. And we'll get that more on the next page when we actually do the transformations. So let's go ahead and fill these guys in. Again, I don't wanna to do two specific asymptotes, it's stupid. General equation, y equals cotangent theta. The period, same thing as tangent, is pi because that's the section that's repeated across the whole graph. Domain, all real numbers, x does not equal, pick an asymptote, there's one at zero, plus or minus, don't forget your k, and then it matches the period, pi. Range is easy, all real numbers. And then once you have domain, you have the equation of your asymptote, except x does equal. And that's it. So now let's go ahead and look at some transformations on page 24. Woohoo!